What is going on, Sheep Army? This is your boy, Random Marks, coming with a quick video. And on this video, guys, we're going to be talking about Shabarium, guys. We are seeing a lot of new uh, newcomers coming into the Sheep Army, and a lot of them are asking some of the same questions. And typically, if I see the same question being asked over and over, that typically prompts me to make a video. So this video is going to be geared towards the newcomers, the new people coming into the Sheep Army. So that way they could understand exactly what is going on. So the commonly asked question that I see is, where can I buy Shibarium token or where can I buy Shibarium coin? So to answer that question, guys, is Shibarium is not a, to a token or a coin. So Shibarium is actually a layer two blockchain technology. So the second question that typically is asked following that is what is a blockchain? What is a layer two blockchain? So going to answer that in this question, uh, in this video. So a layer two, before you can understand what is a layer two blockchain, you have to understand what is a layer one blockchain. So a common use layer one blockchain is Ethereum as well as BNB. So think of a blockchain as a open ledger. So in this case, draw out a scenario or a example um, of Ethereum and BNB. So this would represent a store. So you have the Ethereum, that's the name of the store. Then you have BNB, that's the name of another store. So within that store, there is gonna be an open ledger that is going to record every single action that is being done inside of this store, whether so, whether someone op turn on the light, um, ate breakfast in the store, clean, mop, all of that is going to just be written down in this ledger. And it's going to just keep everything in chronological order of when it happened, how it happened, who who made it happen. And the same thing for BNB. It's going to do the BNB store. Anything that happened in BNB store is just going to be written down. So that's how traditional stores actually operate. You know, not in that detail as far as what everybody else do, but in the sense of a ledger that keeps tracks of transactions and stuff like that. So on Ethereum, this is how it ties into crypto. So these blocks represent different events or different transactions. So whether someone bought NFTs, someone bought XYZ token, whether someone sold XYZ token, um, sent somebody money to a different wallet, all of it is going to get, you know, tracked within a block. So whenever a block is being built, it typically, some are time-based and others are mathematically, uh, Based where a computer have to, you know, solve this complex mathematical equation. And once it finished uh, solving for it, any transaction that was done during the time that it was uh, being solved would just be created. So once it's created, it's automatically going to go to the previous block or the previous transactions that was done prior to that. So in this example, if we're using Ethereum, for example, Let's say that um, at 10 p.m. somebody ate coffee. I'm sorry, drunk coffee. So 10 p.m. coffee was drunk. And that block was finished. Then at 11, somebody decided that they wanted to, um, you know, make a smoothie. So at 11 p.m. smoothie is made. And all of this is just being tracked on the blockchain. So like each event happening is being tracked on the blockchain in a, a big open ledger. So now when it comes to layer two, layer twos are just simply um, another set of blockchain that is built on top of the, of, uh, of the previous blockchain. So in this case, Shibarium is a layer two project that's be, being built on top of Ethereum. So anything that's happening on Shibarium is going to get eventually passed down 
back down to Ethereum. So the advantages of a layer two is due to the uh, is that the cost of it is a lot cheaper. So anytime there's any transaction down on Shibarium, the cost of it is typically going to be pennies, um, pennies and cents versus Ethereum's layer one, where, you know, at the peak of uh, the bull market, transaction cost was around two, three hundred dollars just to make a single transaction. And not only that, you could scale more because if you look at a layer one, the scale of a layer one could typically be this, but a scale of a layer two could go as high as it want to. It could scale even further. Um, so hopefully that gives you guys a little bit of clarity. Now, each blockchain typically has a native token or native coin. So on Ethereum, ETH is the native coin. On Shibarium, Bone is going to be that native uh, coin. And that coin is going to be used to be able to transact on that layer. So that's pretty much blockchain, guys, in a nutshell. Again, it's just blocks that's connected to chains of previous transaction that was done in the past. So hopefully this gives you guys a little bit of understanding of what blockchain is. Um if you still have more questions, leave it down in the comment below. I'll definitely do my best to answer your questions. Now, if you found value in this content, guys, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Random Mars guy signing off. Peace.